Hi guys, hello, welcome back to the Matrix of Life channel and this evening as I promised we will take a look into relationship between Harry Styles and his mother for these questions you send in me about the relationship uh, I prepared uh, one interesting spread uh, called uh, the other side of dark moon or black moon but let's call it dark moon so or dark side of the moon and we will try to answer all your questions uh, about relationship between them and question number one i'm gonna petition here it's gonna be sun and his characteristics who is harry in this spread let's take a look sun and his characteristics Six of Wands, victorious guy, you see this, a winner, sun and his characteristics, a winner, victorious guy, guy who constantly wins, bringing home awards, uh, achievements, who has a lot of achievements, okay, sun and his characteristics, let's pull a few more cards from other deck. We got here healthy choices, which helps him to win. Choices in love and life, self love, self care, being happier. Another keys on the ring, many options. String alone, one night stand. And the last one here, Ooh. stabbed in the back. So heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Oof. Negative cards here more than positive. Positive only one, this healthy choices which obviously from these two cards he isn't doing but whatever he's doing in his life he's doing in order to win okay he doesn't care about consequences he's doing everything whatever it takes to win here that's why healthy choice is sort of most important card uh, which characterize him. Okay, let's ask now mother, his mother and her characteristics, what sort of person she is. Emperor, really, really strict woman who loves to command, okay, who loves for other people to obey. And definitely, this is Major Arcanum, you see, and he compared to her like dust on her shoes. She is using him to bring her victories, countless victories. Emperor's card. Definitely she is um, a person in charge. This emperor card. She's stronger, energetically stronger than him. Uh, do you know so much? It could be another major arcanum, um, which is more harmonious here, you know, uh, like Empress. She loves her kids, Empress, but Emperor, he, he only wants to be proud of his kids. That's his only motivation, pride, uncontrollable pride, to be proud you know to have a hair empress she if we had empress for her 
to characterize her. It would be much, much better. But Emperor is like heartless person, very strict, demanding towards his kids. Okay, more characteristics. Soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Definitely this is karmic. We all get in our parents karmically. It's our karmic partners. Our uh, parents one of the most uh, um, powerful karmic partners for us. Okay. Another card here. Addiction, addicted. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block restraint. As I said, obsession and possession, controlling, so much of control with these cards from her side. And manipulate, you know, such patterns who will even manipulate, who like, oh, I feel bad. Just in order for kids to, to come back home. Sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. She's constantly monitoring her son here. As I said, control, obsessive control. And remember this spread, you know, like to show you how you can check relationship, mother-son relationship. If you dating a man who is um, dependent so much on his mom, better to lay cards. Okay, which relations uh, they had when he was a child? When he was a child, what, what kind of relationship they had? Let's describe the relationship when he was a child. Ten of Wands, heavy, heavy burden, let's say. Sun to her is um, sort of heavy burden, you know, some parents waiting for the kids to be born um, happy. But here he came at a time when he felt as heavy burden to her. A time when everything was so messed up in her relationship with a husband. Again, to me, this like about third party situationships a lot. Man with horns, like. How their relationship were. Which relationship they had when he was a son. Oh, he was a son. He was a child. Oh my God. Seven of swords. Manipulation. Lies. Betrayal. Constant. A lot of toxic energies here. Remember, stabbed in the back. Stabbed in the back by his mom. What's there? I don't know. Really, really. Many options. Which relationship they had when he he was a child? I don't know, really. Cups all spilled out, swords and wands. No magic or condoms. I'm not seeing here sincere connection between son and the mother. I'm not seeing it. You know, I'm not channeling love. I'm not channeling respect. I'm, not, I'm channeling a lot of manipulation, a lot of depression, a lot of... And constantly, like, you know, when you mention into kids, sort of, go shut up, go go play with yourself, do something to you, you're so annoying, this, this sort of situations. Have a burden, okay. And a lot of uh, skeletons. 
a lot of deception stabbed in the back we had not by chance here uh, so far i don't like energies at all anyway let's move but you see and i'm sh i'm shuffling live what i'm pulling it's not like i set cards because i want to talk bad about this situation no i'm shuffling live i'm pulling cards so you see everything it's not like i laid prepared and blah 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 qua 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 okay next question how mother perceived her son in childhood how she perceived harry in, in in his childhood how she perceived him how she perceived him high priestess like future actor or future something star eight of cups and four of swords okay this is definitely she perceived him as 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 her puppet whenever she calls he's coming back whenever she orders she he's walking away sort of whenever she says let's go somewhere disneyland whatsoever they go and whenever she says leave me alone i need my time alone he leaves her Four of Swords, like, again, some particular really strict rules within house where a person must obey. It's like Procrust bad. Have you heard about this in mythology? Procrust bad here. And I priestess. I'm not seeing from her side there was something like she didn't trust him enough. She didn't trust him enough in some questions. Like paranoia. Maybe something had happened, like he opened her diary or something. Or found something he didn't supposed to. Again, bag. A person here carrying a bag, carrying a secret. And bag on female side. And, uh, okay, the relationship, she tried as well, you know, to... To make him to follow rules. To make him a person, type of a person whom she can manipulate easily. And you know, one of the greatest manipulations uh, is religion. So I'm saying like she tried to bring him to, to religion. Because in religion they they say uh, you know they say that paradise lays uh, under the feet of mothers something like this and uh, respect uh, to our parents but some toxic parents they using this religious dogmas to manipulate their kids like uh, to make them believe that they now owe them a lot a lot a lot a relationship really stagnant with essence of religion here and some secret like he might be even you know escaping um living home because of this burden of this secret or try to escape from home being a little kid because of this secret anyway anyway let's move further 
That's how she perceived him when he was a kid. Like someone stagnant, melancholic, but a bit dangerous. <laughs> okay, how he perceived her when he was a kid. How he perceived mother when he was a kid. But here is definitely some sort of skeleton he sees. She uh, knew, maybe, or believes that he sees this, but this were never spoken out. And the situation around the secret still sort of stagnant. Okay, how he perceived her. Queen of Swords, again, very rational, cold-hearted, um, very strict type of mother. Who wants a Queen of Swords mother? It's like Admiral Mother who says you, who commands you, and you obey. Very assertive figure here. He perceived her as a fool. This sort of psychosis, like, you never know what to expect from her. Like, uh, you can predict, you know, kids, um, will your mom, if you approach her, will she say you something kind or will she punish you at the empty place? Like this joker card constantly and this is so traumatic to the child psyche here because you never know what to expect approaching your mother because uh, if she is in bad mood, she gonna take it out on you. And you never know if you go there, you want to hug you, you don't know if you're going to get this hug because her mood is so unstable with this card. Five of Swords. At times, even here, this is source battle, like physical punishment. God, why, why all these cards? Or it might be psychological violence, like you not good enough, you didn't do this and that. That's why you're not allowed to go here and there. Constantly, wife of swords, how he perceived. You're not good in constant manipulations. You never know what to expect from her. Even if you bring in her good grades from school, uh, she might say something, well, okay, but uh, um, having good grades won't make you rich. Haha, -ha, something like this. Whatever you're doing, it, it's, 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 it's never enough. There should be done more always surprises you know even if everything good it might turn out to be bad in a blink of an eye really unstable here really unstable <sighs> okay now let's ask but at least from his side there were some sort of feelings and empathy from her side like no cups no nothing just control control <sighs> horrible energies okay let's ask now why does mother need a son motivation with which a uh, child was conceived King of Swords, very logical. <laughs> King of Pentacles, to, to get more money or to, to keep men around herself. The world. Again, world is the um, 
end of this karmic cycle. It's like to keep man around and get money from the man with which uh, and maybe we thought that after this son gonna provide money world as well as desires for her kid to be talented and um, have this world's fame but definitely to to keep broken pieces together here with the world card World sometimes it might mean marriage, sometimes might mean divorce. But in this case, it's just to keep a man around. Man with money. Or to, to benefit from the sun later on and to fulfill all wishes about world fame she maybe was not able to fulfill on her own. But motivation here, again, no feelings, no cups, not because uh, I, I, I want to give my love to someone else as well, like I'm ready to. Very logical. Logically driven, you know, woman here. And conceived to, motivated by pure logic and financial interest to, to make, to stabilize here. Family, family atmosphere. To glue man, to, to, to keep him around on a leash, um, to prevent family from falling apart. That's the motivation with which he was conceived. Why she needs son? Why does mother need son? See, pentacles. See, world fame. See, logically to manipulate him in order to get boss of this. I don't know, really. This is something really 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 not good <sighs> okay anyway uh, the essence of current relationship the essence of current relationship between them tower <laughs> current relationship i wouldn't say they're really good maybe at public really good but inside Mm, the essence of current relationship between these two, like, tower. Or like someone kicked from, the, from home. Ten of swords again. Betrayal. Maybe he stops to take her order and she's thinking that he betrayed her. Who knows here? Who Okay, Ten of Swords, current, current relationship, current, the essence of current relationship between them. Four of Pentacles, mom doesn't want to let him hold, you know, when you're holding tight to your pentacle. You don't want this to slip from your hands. You're holding tight, you're locking your pentacle. With help of chains and doors and locks and deserves. I don't know. But you see, I'm pulling cards. It's entire deck full of other beautiful cards. Why still we can't get anything good? We can't squeeze anything good from this. Tell me. I know. a relationship doesn't want to let go backstab someone in this relationship and tower mom. not the greatest relationship <sighs> okay okay the ideal behavior of son uh, in eyes of a mother how he should behave what what she wants him to do how she wants him to behave Knight of Wands, okay, I've been active. A star, 
you know, like keep achieving, keep bringing stars home, keep bringing awards, keep bringing fame, keep bringing the status, keep improving it. No, don't stop constantly with no break, record new songs, film a new movie, keep pursuing, keep being a star, keep being on the top. That's his ideal behavior in her eyes. Like shine brighter. No, mom, I can't. No, I said you shine brighter. Seven of Cups to fulfill all her dreams. She have a lot of dreams related uh, to, to him. What, what he should achieve in terms of what he should achieve for his career. She have a list of plans of what and expectations and he should go non-stop as as this active night of one's fire person like lizzo <laughs> with with lizzo's energies you know because lizzo is a very energetic being a fire element harry not but who listening to no you need to keep a chevin who said you don't stop even if your horse die Become a horse yourself and keep keep this keep this. She wants all her dreams be fulfilled by by him and the star status to to achieve more. Maybe to get Oscar. Maybe to get Grammy. Maybe to get all Grammys in the world and even on Mars. To go and make a concert. Okay, and uh, now let's ask his real behavior and compare these two groups. His real behavior. How much is different from what she is expecting from him. I'm sorry guys, but you seen if it was everything good, I would be pulling good cards. I'm shuffling live. It's not like as a readers I prepared something, some sort of shit I gonna talk about. And no, you you seeing yourself all these cards. You seeing it yourself. Which energies we pull in, and and here even might be entire you know reading with no comments. I I shouldn't comment any of the of these cards because they speaking loud for themselves. Okay, Ace of Swords, new beginnings for him, new achievements. New beginnings, new bright beginnings, ace of pentacles, earning more and more money. All aces, new beginnings which are gonna bring him more money, even more words. Three of cups and constant partying with friends, hanging out with friends, this merry lifestyle, you know, not serious merry lifestyle. Oh, how much he... Mm. Yeah, it, it's it, it's in alignment. It's in alignment, but she doesn't want him to chill with friends. She wants him to to be more serious about <laughs> about his achievements. No, no, no time for this uh, married time with friends. With but he is having this this really talkative air element and. You know how much important different friends and connections to IRL people and and here we go to two aces new beginnings he's starting something new probably to fulfill one of her caps but again it's all not major canons and and here her uh, central expectations core expectations they des described with um major arcana so whatever he's doing not enough okay Whatever he is doing, not enough to to satisfy her at the moment. Okay. And how she is behaving towards him. Let's ask. She's behaving towards him. Ace of Wands. I'm seeing here a lot of communication, like uh, passionately, uh, constantly setting goals in front of him. 
No, like you should go win, you should go achieve, you should go do this, you should go do that. Uh, if I found new producer whatsoever or helpful person to, you know, to do this, I, I enrolled you to the show, you should go there. Constant, you know, this. Devil, how she's behaving with him. Should I comment, really? This is her behavior towards him. Because this, this is narcissistic manipulation. This is narcissist who is pulling strings. I know. But as I said, why all the beautiful cards staying within deck? Like, why we pulling only ugly? Four of Cups. Okay, she has no other business in life than focusing on him. She's not, not having her own cup, her own life. Distract yourself, let's say. No, she is all focused on him. All focus on manipulations on him and, and constant, you see. See his face, how much skeptical, dissatisfied expression, her behavior. Skeptical, dissatisfied, like never enough whatsoever you achieve and it's never enough for me. And full focus on his life, his achievements, not her own, whatever she's doing. No, no. Let's ask now what uh, she prevents him from doing and creating in life. What uh, mother prevents him from doing and creating in life? Yes. What she prevents him from doing and creating in his life? What she prevents him from doing and creating in life? Judgment. It, judgment, it's working with your ancestral programs and, and healing your ancestral karma. That's a judgment. She prevents him from healing this ancestral karma, karmic luggage. At times, uh, she prevents him from reconciliation with the person he really loves. She's preventing him from balanced lifestyle. From balanced, harmonious lifestyle. Temperance. So if at times he's overusing drugs or alcohol, that's because of... Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, you know, this is a person who is um, independent. And independent in finances who spending of here like she's controlling his finances totally she's preventing him from um getting this independence over his finances like with whom to work what to sell or uh, in what to invest like full control on, on finances and being independent this is quite about independence okay let me put a few more clarifiers here to these cards what she prevents him from doing creating in, in his life what she prevents him she prevents him from doing creating in life it's a it's a long spread yeah but quite interesting lightning sudden change Surprise, epiphany, transformation. She prevents him from transformation. 
here judgment card uh, resurrection day in other in, in in other terms and the healing healing this transformation this transformation requires healing ancestor programs she's preventing him from doing this lightning she's preventing him from transformation camera learn from the past she's preventing him from learning from his past Ooh, coffee cup wanted to pop up not taken yet seduction flirting dating third party interference <laughs> Definitely she is, you know, like, constantly showing interest in his relationship, putting her nose, being the third party in any relationship he's creating, that's why he is still single, according to this card. Still single and dependent on her opinions and decisions and your everything, her everything, literally. Okay. How destructive her influence um, on uh, on his uh, fate? Okay. How destructive her influence on his fate? How destructive her influence on his fate? Let's see the power here. How destructive her influence on his fate? Queen of Cups, no emotionally, quite destructive, especially emotionally here. Three of Swords, oh my God, Ooh, a lot of drama in, in, she's bringing him a lot of drama in a relationship. Like with her constant either advices, either recommendations on whom to date, whom not to date. Three of Swords, Queen of Cups. How destructive. Keeping him away from from love. Let's see. Oh, heavy, 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 heavy energies. I don't like. Strange. Uh, you know, this is, might be at times even physical violence. Here, but strange again go taming a lion here go taming a dragon a lot of control in energies control over his feelings and love life here total control that's under her control how destructive in terms of major arcanum that's like 60 percent because we have in here only one major arcana, like sixty percent destructive, especially over his love life here. Over his love life, very destructive her influence. Okay, guys, you asked me, I made this for you. Uh, unfortunately, the rest, all the other beautiful cards, Sun, Ace of Cups. You know, we have wonderful cards here. Magician, at times it is beautiful, sometimes manipulation. Anyway, all the beautiful cards, cups, everything. It's all stayed in a deck. Why? 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 It's all stayed in a deck. If we had here cups, so... Not not many. Let, let me take a look what we what we got here in terms of... Magic Arcana Cups one, or Swords, um, Magic Arcana here, Let's see, Pentacles, or Magic Arcana, okay, another Cups, another Cups, Double Magic Arcana, once Pentacles, so let's see what prevails, another Magic Arcana, another Cups, uh, Okay, now swords. 
no pentacles, no swords, no wands again, tower, my god, all, all, all the shit, no pentacles, so the world again, magic arcana, swords, full magic arcana, queen of swords, okay, cups, again swords, again swords, again magic arcana, cups, again swords, and wands, only three ones here we got an entire reading just summarizing which energy is prevailing in this relationship okay how, how much one two three four five six uh six cups but all are negative you see this almost all negative five of cups it's negative card you see this eight of cards leaving something behind be, behind seven of cups like dreams, I hear endless dreams. Three of cups, four of cups, and queen of cups in terms of how destructive. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight swords. And one, two, three, four pentacles. So, you see swords here prevail in description of this entire relationship swords energies they prevail from what you can make a judgment how much this relationship uh, driven by logic and manipulation okay guys i i hope you like the reading if you have more questions which uh, I am maybe not answered in this long, long, long spread. You can drop them in the comments. Maybe I will be back and and make another reading on these energies. But so far, I think this is more than enough. And if you want similar reading on, on maybe your person and his mother, or maybe you want similar reading for your relationship with mother, you know how to contact me. Everything in the description box. So don't forget to hit subscribe button, notification bell, and really hope to see you in my next videos. Bye-bye.